We are going to make Mlinga and Cloves DIY oil for hair growth. This is going to help you and me to grow our hair thicker and stronger. What you apply on your scalp helps your hair growth to come out healthier and stronger. So today's video we're gonna make this oil. Hello guys, welcome and welcome back to the channel. Please like this video before we start. Now, if you're on a natural hair journey by now, you know Cloves is the big boss. When it comes to hair growth, Yes, Clove is the boss. It helps with blood circulations. What I mean by this is that if you have blood circulations, hair can actually grow very fast. Cloves does exactly that. And this is one of the things that is going to help you and me to grow our hair very fast. So that's what we're going to need. First, I'm just going to go ahead and get one spoon. We don't need a lot because I'm just doing it for myself. If you are doing it for sale, you can go ahead and do more. Or if you want to go ahead and make more of it and keep it in the fridge so that you can use it for more than one week, you can go ahead and do that. What I'm doing is for me and I'm going to use this for one week. And for the oil, you can go ahead and use whatever oil you have. It shouldn't be exactly olive oil. So use any oil of your choice. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the blender and I'm gonna blend this really well. So let's go ahead and speak a little bit more about cloves. Cloves enhance blood circulation. Is cloves also have properties that can help to stimulate blood flow in the scalp. This promotes hair falco activities and encourages hair growth. And also, clove oil helps to increase hair growth, it promotes the scalp, it treats dandruff, and it is also known for strengthening the hair, replenishes, repairs, and protects your hair. So make sure you blend your clothes really well. I'm done blending mine. I'm just gonna go ahead and get it out. And I'm gonna get my glass bottle and I'm gonna transfer my oil in here if you don't have a glass bottle it's okay but preferably use a glass bottle so i'm gonna transfer my oil in my glass bottle if your scalp doesn't have enough blood circulation your hair is gonna take long to start growing so now that i've told you the benefits of gloves i'm gonna go ahead and mix it with moringa this is our second ingredient that we need for our oil. Molinga is powerhouse. It promotes thicker and longer hair. It also boosts hair growth. Molinga is also known for nourishing and moisturizing. It has essential nutrients including vitamin A, vitamin E and C, as well as fatty acids. These components helps to moisturize and hydrate your hair, hence promoting the overall hair healthy. And vitamin A has an important role. This promotes healthy cells and tissues in your body. So now you see how powerful Moringa is, especially when mixed with cloves. As you saw, I used one spoon of Moringa one spoon of cloves and if you need more you can go ahead and make more oil this is my oil and as you see i have my pot here and i'm just pouring my water i boiled this water but you can go ahead and just place this on heat so i'm getting my oil and i'm gonna do my double boiling method i'm going to add some coconut oil and i'm gonna use this extra virgin coconut oil for those of you who don't like coconut oil i think just find a way on how to use coconut oil mix it with other oils because this is one of the powerful oils in fact coconut oil is one of those penetrating oils for those of you who don't like it, please mix it with some oils. I'm actually planning to do a video on coconut oil challenge because this coconut oil is very powerful. Just mix it with any oil and you are good to go. 
So I just went ahead and stirred this. As you see, coconut oil is already dissolved. I'm just gonna let it sit here for about 10 to 8 minutes before I go ahead and remove this. So I've strained out my oil. I love using this gel because it has this corner here which makes it really really easy to transfer this oil or anything in the small bottle. That's why I love using this gel. I'm just gonna go ahead and transfer my oil in my small bottle. The next thing that I go ahead and add in my oil is essential oil. I'm using peppermint oil, but you can use any essential oil you have. These essential oils are going to help us to stimulate blood on the scalp. Blood must be stimulated so that the hair can be able to grow. For that, we need blood saturation essential oils are going to help us with that i just put few drops you don't need too much of it next i'm just gonna go ahead and close my oil i bought this bottle on amazon but it came with this pink cover but it tends to disturb me here in the pipe especially when it comes to oil it is very slow when you want to spray it in your hair so i got this black one because it has a nozzle which makes it really easier. So I'm closing my bottle. So guys, that's how I make my Moringa and Glove oil. I'm shaking this to make sure my essential oil dissolves really well in my oil. And how to use this oil? Personally, I apply it around my edges and on my scalp. After applying, I take 10 minutes and massage my head every day. Another way you can use this is that you can use this oil as a hot oil. That is it. And this brings me to the end of this video. Thank you so much guys for sticking around. Thanks for watching and I hope to catch you in the new video. I'm going to keep this in my fridge. I'm going to use this for the whole week.